What's up everyone? I hope you guys are all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Serge. Welcome to the channel. To all my reoccurring viewers, guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. So without further ado, let's go ahead and actually jump into the topic of this video. As many of you guys know, and if you don't, I actually do assisted living and that is the business I currently have and that I do. And I actually want to touch on the topic of how business ownership and also entrepreneurship has changed my mindset how I've been able to go about doing business and how it's changed my life literally uh, forever. So for the people that are new, um, I did start an assisted living business about a year and a half ago and it's been quite the journey. Um, if you haven't, uh, I do talk about a lot of my experiences in on my channel and you know you guys can go back and watch those videos if you guys want to um, but to all my reoccurring viewers as you guys all know uh, that's why you're on my channel is because I talk a lot about uh, everything regarding assisted living real estate um, even home sharing and vacational rentals here soon enough uh, with the new business venture that I'm doing which if you guys haven't make sure you guys subscribe because I will be talking about the entire process of how I'm going to get my home set up for, uh, you know, Airbnb, uh, for home sharing and all of that. So make sure you guys stick around and make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't. And also make sure you guys hit the like button for this video. So let's go ahead and talk about how I am so different uh, from when I first started. Uh, it's been a year and a half, like I said, and for me personally, my mindset has changed a lot. Um, ever since I've been out here, it's kind of been this type of deal where it, in my mind, I just have to continue to progress. Um, I have to continue to, in a sense, survive. Um, and what I mean by that is that I have to do everything myself. No one's holding me accountable. No one's going to tell me, Serge, wake up at this time, be here at this time. You know, uh, it's all about how I'm willing to actually succeed. Uh, and I think a lot of people don't understand that about entrepreneurship and business ownership. Uh, when you're your own boss, you are technically responsible, uh, uh, you know, with everything um, from making money to running your business successfully. Everything comes down to you as the business owner. And for the most part, if you're not there, no one else is going to do it for you. So I need you guys to understand that. I mean, at this point, uh, I am on the clock technically 24 seven. The money that comes in is based off of how well my business is functioning and how well it's running. And being an assisted living business that I'm currently running is based off of, you know, having residents in your home. If you don't got no residents in your home, you're not going to make money and you're going to be in the red and you're going to lose money technically. So with that being said, guys, when there's vacancies, I, I am responsible for the marketing. I am responsible for filling those beds. And how has that shifted my mindset? Well, that's shifted my mindset of, okay, the reasons why I have vacancies is on me. Um, I have to go out there and I have to make those phone calls. I have to go do all that networking. I have to go uh, be the face of the business uh, in order for it to succeed. And a lot of you guys need to understand that because being a business owner is not this grand thing that everyone keeps talking about. Entrepreneurship is not this fun, you know, let's drive expensive cars, make, you know, go buy expensive clothes. And that's the lifestyle of being an entrepreneur. No, guys, um, what you guys see is not at all the reality. Um, I know a lot of people and I've met a lot of young guys who, you know, from social media and everything they portray this lifestyle of being an entrepreneur as this great thing but in reality guys i can talk from experience that i have literally probably struggled a lot more being an entrepreneur than i was when i was being an employee but the difference was that guys i would put up with the mis not even i wouldn't call it misery but i'd put up the struggles of being an entrepreneurship then or being an entrepreneur than actually dealing with the misery of being an employee, okay? Uh, being told what to do and how to be and what to wear and where to be. Uh, guys, I, I would rather deal with sleeping in my car, for instance. I'd rather deal with being completely broke at one point or another. Um, I'd rather just be on my own and not have any friends because I'm trying to just make my business work, right? And I'm trying to get it on its feet. I'd rather deal with all those stresses, all the disappointments, all the rejections, all the things that didn't go through or didn't go my way than to ever be an employee. With that being said, guys, 
uh, it's a totally fine and it's totally cool if you guys are you know you guys are the opposite right you'd rather be an employee you'd rather just you know kind of cruise through life and if that's for you by all means go for it i mean there's nothing wrong with that you know i have friends that just it's being an employee is what they want right it's it's for them being an entrepreneur being a business owner is not for them they don't want to deal with the risks they don't want to deal with the liabilities they don't want to deal with all the headaches that come with owning a business they don't want to deal with any of that but they also don't understand the reward that comes with being an entrepreneur and a business owner and that is where my mindset has really changed the reward is freedom. You work at your own pace. You work at your own schedule. You, you know, nobody's telling you where to be and how to be. And for me, that that right there alone is the reason why I'll never be an employee again. Um, and secondly, guys, the risk is worth the reward, uh, especially when it comes to building your businesses. As your business starts to catch traction, as it starts to succeed, it you you really enjoy and you really appreciate and are grateful for the little successes that you have as a business and it's so so cool to see how the progress of it right the different employees that come through or the employee that stayed with you from the very beginning it's really cool to see that and it's really cool to see the difference that you're making in other people's lives right um, and how other people are inspired by your story or my story uh, whatever it may be, guys, the rewards in that aspect are so much more uh, fulfilling. Whereas, like as an employee, depending on what you're doing and how you're doing it, you know, there's so many things that you could be doing as an employee that really uh, fulfills a need in that company, and you're a vital asset to that company. You know, that could be fulfilling for you. Um, but for me. Uh, entrepreneurship has really changed my mindset in that aspect um, I you know a lot of people ask me how do you do it and I ask them how do you do it you know uh, I used to be an employee but look it kind of feels like a vague me memory now like I feel like it's been years <laughs> since I have worked as an employee when in reality it's only been like a year and a half but it kind of just feels like a distant memory uh, now because I've been so ingrained to just pursue my dreams and to really give my all in this whole thing that, you know, being a business owner and being an entrepreneur and I've embraced it. I've embraced, I've learned to just embrace the struggles, to embrace the disappointments, to really just, I, I like have a hunger for it. It's so hard to explain unless you're actually doing it and you know where I'm coming from. Um, but after you've been doing it for a minute, which I haven't been doing it for a long time, as you guys know, and I've probably repeated that a million times. But, you know, I just have this, like, hunger to embrace the struggles, the pain, the disappointments, because ultimately that's what's going to help me grow and make me an even better business owner uh, and entrepreneur. And so for me, you know, going through certain struggles and situations – I look at them as blessings because at the end of the day, um, that's what's going to help me grow. And if you don't, if you aren't willing to challenge yourself and you're not willing to grow from every mistake that you've made, I think too many people are caught up on the fact that they don't want to make any mistakes, right? What are their friends going to say? What are their family members going to say? They don't want to be embarrassed with the fact that they're they're making a mistake or they made a mistake or. They lost a ton of money, or their business went under. Um, whatever the, you know, whatever it may be, um, you know, a lot of people struggle with that mentally um, and internally. And honestly, for me personally, um, at one point I realized I live one life, and at the end of the day, I just do not care, um, and I don't pay attention to any of the noise, uh, unless you know, I only pay attention to the things that are going to help me succeed and get me uh, to reaching the goals that I want to reach. And if if people's negativity is the reason why you, you're you just scared to start or you're worried, maybe it's just not for you to do uh, business and to be an entrepreneur. And I, I mean that from a very sincere part of my heart. Um, you know, a lot, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to doubt you from the very beginning. There's going to be a lot of people that make fun of you from the very beginning. They're going to look at you and, you know, the entire time they're just going to be watching you uh, just to see you fail. They don't, it, once you actually start making it and you're actually starting to win and 
getting a win here and you start catching traction and you, you are just killing it. It's quite interesting that I feel like more people just become more distant. Actually, they look at you kind of as a threat. Um, and it's quite interesting to see what people end up doing as you start getting more success. Um, and some people may come around and be like, hey man, congratulations, bro. We're so proud of you. We, you know, all this stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, guys, don't do it for them. Uh, don't do anything to prove anybody wrong. When I started this channel, um, you know, it wasn't growing at all very, <laughs> very much in the beginning. And a lot of people were doubting uh, the channel uh, and doubting you guys because you guys are the channel, right? You guys are the ones that are supporting this channel. And I appreciate you guys and give you guys a lot of love for that. And I'm very grateful for each and every one of you. But, you know, a lot of people were just kind of like watching uh, and not really subscribing or supporting the channel. And as the channel started growing uh, as at a very tremendous rate, um, and I, it's still kind of, it just blows my mind how awesome you guys are. Uh, and But anyways, as people started seeing that, you know, they would, be like, dang, dude, your channel's growing. Congratulations, this and that. But guys, at the end of the day, I wasn't even doing it for those people that doubted me. I wasn't going to sit there and be like, I'm going to prove them wrong. I didn't care for any of that. I have been very consistent on this channel, as you guys can tell. And the reason why is because I enjoy making these videos for you guys. I enjoy doing this, guys. I enjoy running my businesses, guys. I really genuinely love doing it. And if I wasn't enjoying it i wouldn't do it don't bother doing something you don't enjoy guys entrepreneurship and business ownership and assisted living whatever it may be whatever it is that you guys are looking into um, just because someone is doing really well with that does not mean that it's for you guys it does not mean that you guys should just go and pursue it and you guys if you guys start hating it or you guys hate the idea of it don't even do it you know what i mean like there's certain things that i would not ever do in my life because I know I'd hate it. Um, like for instance, I appreciate all the veterans in our in our country, right? I appreciate all the people that are serving right now. I have a cousin who just got out of the Marines. But understand this, guys. For some people, that is like something they dream of, right? That's what they want to go do. Go join the military. For me, I would never go join the military. Not because I don't want to serve the country. And fight it's just it's not for me guys um, it's same for like nursing for instance that too guys it's not for me and like you learn that along the way like and it's okay <laughs> you don't need to do everything like it's okay to say no to the fact that you don't want to go do that like even college for instance if you guys just hate it and you got like these other skills that you can just hone in on and create something out of it guys we live in a time where you can do that um, don't go to college because someone's like your parents are like you got to go to college you know you need to do that guys if you hate school and you hate like just committing to something like that the same with the military the same with nursing whatever it may be a business is a commitment and you guys need to understand that and if that's just not for you guys don't do it don't waste your time guys there's like life is genuinely actually short and if you guys choose to do something you guys absolutely hate get out of it like if you are currently right now i'm speaking to whoever's watching this if you guys hate your situation right now and you guys know that deep down in your heart and only you know that it could probably be seen from the outside because you just got that like mean mug face right you're just mm, like mad all the time <laughs> you know like but if you genuinely know that you hate what you're doing Guys, I'm telling you, get out of it. Just quit. There's so many different opportunities out there. Um, you know, obviously start working on something that will get you out of that situation that you absolutely hate. Uh, you know, that's what I did. And I want to just inspire you guys. And hopefully if this channel is like helping you guys and if this video helped you uh, get a better idea of what to do, because I feel like there's so many young people and just people in general, really, uh, that have really no idea what they want to do. Um, guys, I don't have everything figured out. Um, I'm still learning with you guys. I'm a normal guy, just like you guys. I, I wear the same, literally the same, like, shirts on almost every other video, right? Like, I don't think, if you guys have been very consistent with my channel, you guys are probably, like, does this kid, like, own any other clothing or any other apparel? No, because I don't care for that stuff. And... You know, uh, it, for me personally, it's just a matter of like being able to be happy. 
And at the end of the day, guys, um, understand this. No matter how much money you make or how little money, amount of money you make, it's all about just genuinely being happy and doing what you personally want to do. Um, you know, if sitting on the couch, eating Cheetos and working a nine to five job is what you enjoy and it just makes you happy and you just want to cruise through life that way, go for it. I mean, surround yourself with those kind of people. But if you're anything like me, where you're constantly pushing to become the best version of yourself, to inspire others, to give back, to build businesses, to just live life to the fullest really um you know surround yourself with people like that and if you're that type of person you know make sure you hit the subscribe button because i am definitely going to release a lot more videos on you know different assisted living business advices real estate and everything of that sort so guys if this video motivated you guys in any way make sure to hit that like button smash that subscribe button for me and guys thank you so much for all the love and support on this channel I can't thank you guys enough. Seriously, I, I, I'm just mind blown to even be at a thousand subscribers, guys. Like, it's just genuinely so cool to be here at this point and to continue seeing this channel grow. And it's all because of you guys. So thank you very much. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. God bless. Peace.